Welcome to the ProPack MD Synchronized Cardio Version Module. Certain arrhythmias, such as ventricular tachycardia, atrial fibrillation, and atrial flutter, require synchronizing the defibrillator discharge with the ECG R wave to avoid the vulnerable T wave segment of the cardiac cycle. Consult local protocols to define what rhythms should be treated with synchronized cardioversion. Select the lead that uses the largest amplitude QRS complex. Hands-free therapy electrodes may be used as an ECG source. Press the sync button on the lower front panel to place the ProPack in sync mode. A sync indicator appears at the top of the display screen and a green light next to the indicator flashes with each sync marker. The marker S appears above each detected R wave to indicate where the discharge will occur. The yellow dot is the R wave indicator, which appears on the R wave to identify where the shock will be delivered. The R wave indicator may appear anywhere on the R wave, not necessarily the top. It may appear at the peak, the base, or anywhere in between. It automatically exits sync mode after each shock unless previously configured otherwise. This configuration change would need to be made through the supervisor mode. Otherwise, you can reactivate sync mode by pressing the button again. Press the energy select arrows up or down to select the desired energy level. When used with pediatric pads, defibrillation energies must be set manually based on site-specific institutional protocols for pediatric defibrillation. When using paddles, the Select Energy button is found on the sternum paddle. Press the Charge button on the front panel. A charging message displays at the bottom of the screen, and a distinctive charging tone sounds, indicating that the unit is charging. You will hear the same tone when the energy level is reached, and the bar graph will also display the energy level. When the unit is fully charged, the tone changes to a continuous charge ready tone. The highlighted energy bar graph includes the selected energy, and the shock button lights up. When using paddles, the charge button is found on the apex paddle when you hear the same tone, and the energy bar graph will also show when the selected energy level is reached. Verify that the ECG waveform is stable and that sync markers appear after each R wave. Press and hold the illuminated shock button on the front panel until energy is delivered to the patient the defibrillator will discharge with the next detected R wave. When using the paddles, the user will simultaneously press the two shock buttons found on each of the paddles in order to deliver the shock to the patient. If additional counter shocks are needed, press the sync quick access key again, readjust the energy settings, charge the unit, and deliver shock. The ProPack can be configured to remain in sync after cardioversion. You have reached the end of the ProPack MD cardioversion module. For details on other capabilities of the ProPack MD, please review those separate modules.